Gareth with Whatchamacallit Gaming and we're going to continue our Citizens of Industry playthrough. Sorry, just adjusting my mic a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's see, we've got copper, we've got iron, well sorry, copper, iron. We've got our bricks coming in, so now our next major step is to replace our small little manufactorium here, which is basically nothing. With large scale production. Okay, let's just scrap that because we don't need that. And then we're going to have to upgrade our farms. Food production is still not a problem. Okay, so we're doing alright in that respect. We're filling up sand. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Though later on we're going to have to run conveyor belts this way so we can get limestone and sand. We may even have to see if we can't build some kind of central depot that we can ship them to and ship them down. Or maybe when we get the bigger trucks, it won't be as big a problem. Okay, how do we want to do this? What do we want to produce first? Let me just check what we are actually available to produce. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Wrong building, right building. Okay, we've got electronics. We need electronics for this, but we need rubber. we still got to get that up. We need electronics for this, so... Mechanical parts. The first two groups of buildings will probably be mechanical parts and electronics. And then we'll move on to building machine parts, construction components, and then tier two construction components. Right, what is going on? We should be harvesting trees in this area. Yeah, there is one there. So our construction project is probably going to go this way. Okay. We're still going to have to figure out waste treatment later on, because we're still actually are not producing any rubber at all. So what we have is what we have. Well... You know I'm using the Captain of Industry, Captains of Cheat mod. So what we have is whatever I want, but still. Let me see how I want to do this, because we have to run iron. Okay, and we have to run wood. Oh boy, fun stuff. Where are up there? Way at the end. Can we build this? We can. But let's go with the tier 1 stuff first, because it's going to be easier. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the long run. Whether we go tier 1, we go tier 2, it's not going to be a big problem. Let's leave a gap for vehicle movement. Uh, I did build these, I built these the wrong way around. So if I build it here, it's too far down. I don't know if we'll have enough room for everything. Maybe we should just go for it. Okay, let's just go from this line here. to just store the rubber which we'll then bring in. So we can build it here. Okay, let's see here. Three. Okay, let's just make it four. Give a little extra room for cargo. This one will not make that. One will make this because it'll need the mechanical parts, iron, and electronics. The other one should make. Where is. Hmm. Oh, I've got the wrong building selected. That's why. Okay, my bad. These will all make mechanical parts. But here in the machine shop. Okay, no, it's not there. Here, maintenance depot. Electronics and mechanical components. Now what am I doing? Okay, and that will take what we're feeding here. One is making electronic parts, one is making mechanical parts. Both of those resources are going to be needed here, but I think I'm going to just make it a little bit further down. 
just to give room for all these belts. We don't actually have to, at, at least this island map is so big, we don't actually have to squeeze ourselves in quite as much. will be two lines over. Okay. Probably going to have to run a double belt going this way as well because we're going to need it. This one's going to have to come a wee bit down. the research lab equipment somewhere else because we'll build that near our lab laboratory so we can deal with it. Okay. Am I even getting my spacing right with these damn buildings? It looks sort of. Yeah, that looks correct. Yeah, I'm not building this very um, even, unfortunately. That's running all these bloody conveyor belts. to run iron, we're gonna have to run these up. Okay. I think I need to move these over a little bit. Just to give some room here. Slows to come here. I know I'm screwing this up somehow. I can feel it. I'm just not 100% sure how I'm screwing it up. I must actually run this one this way. All right. I think this has to come. I'm screwing this up. I'm not sure how I'm screwing this up. That's where my hiccup is coming in. Because I have done this before and I have gotten it right. And then I probably forgot however it was I was getting it um, right. These still need electronics. So, I think what I need to do, because I know I did get this right at one point, where I could run both these belts, one above, one below, without any problems. I just honestly don't remember how I did it. Maybe I raised it here? No, because this stuff... Yeah, because I have screwed this up. I can see it now. I've already screwed this up. This is wrong. One must go up, one must go straight across and down. Okay, I see what I've done, I see what I've done, I see what I've done. I'm being too close to the uh, project here. Run it like that.
probably still too darn close. Yeah, way too close here. But yeah, that's something roughly approximately what I needed to do. Okay, so. Also, we need one more of these buildings, and I think one more of these buildings. I think it's just easier to work on uh, fours than in rows of three. Does mean we're probably going to end up with excess component parts, but that doesn't matter. So what we want to do is we want to run this straight into there. This straight into there. Somehow, some way, a long time ago, I figured out how to do this properly, and well, I've completely forgotten. This actually has to continue further because we're. Oh wait, these are mechanical parts. Do we need mechanical parts for anything at the moment? We do not, so they do not have to run quite that far. But we may need them for something else later, and I don't remember, so I'm just going to run them like that anyway. Now then. Still wrong because I still got to run irons in this whole lot. How the heck did I do this last time? Because I do remember somehow getting it all tucked up nice and neat along this corner, and for the life of me, I can't remember how I did that right now. I think I did that. Okay, hang on a minute. I think I know what I'm doing wrong here. This one ran up here to deliver electronic components to the front, and then I ran another belt inwards. So, let's run the iron first, because I think that'll probably save me iron and copper. Let's just run the iron and copper quick. I can just siphon off as I go along. Come on. 
run, iron run. We can siphon off the iron right from here and run right in. really really not very nice or very neat but it'll work for now and later on if I remember what I actually did right last time around ah, bugger. okay that should be fine do I want to run? So mechanical bars and that all have to come here. Let's just move these over a bit and see if I can... Oops, what was that did? Let's see if that one helps if I just move it over a bit. to run its parts to where they can be uh, stored, which will probably be here, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, no, that's wrong. There probably is a way, way more efficient way of doing this. And I probably do remember it, but it's been quite a while since I last played this game in any kind of uh, decent level. Okay, uh, let's just remove this bit. I'm going to run a belt. Because I know I had this at some time that was so nice and neat that you could really go at it when you wanted to build whatever. actually has to come one over. Okay. Why am I getting like that? What the heck is going on here? Grab the belt. wrong. Okay, so what's the right direction? All right, oops. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's that's fine for now. These two belts will come here. So now we just need a place where we can get the mechanical components, the vehicle components. 
Alright, we may actually just move belts around, because this is going to come here this way, and this one is going to go up. That one's going to go up, so this one. Just need to... fairly decent spread of what needs to go where, and then we just gotta make sure we can get at these parts so we can actually transport them to our assembly buildings. For the love of. everything here one level up. This, this is a complete disaster by any description of the terminology. This is not a conveyor belt, this is a rat's nest pretending to be a conveyor belt system. I know I had a formula for this somehow, but I don't know why this section here is confusing me so much this time around. Unless I had these swapped around, but I don't think so. Excuse me. I don't know if actually drawing from all four, uh, all are the points on these warehouses speeds up delivery? I don't honestly know. I've never actually bothered to try and find out. Over one. Uh, yeah. I've never ever ever bothered to actually see and check. Okay, if I'm drawing from all four of these, do I actually get more throughput? But I honestly have never bothered to check. so difficult. That is more than enough distance. Oh. Really? Oh, this is gonna suck later on. Yeah, I've got the iron in the totally uh, wrong place. Why are you doing that? Well... Oh. 
For some strange reason, at least this time around, I can't get this. What do you mean incompatible? Yeah, the iron should have been one level up. The copper should have been on the bottom, but I've already built the damn thing, so I'm not going to even fight with it. And I'll have the wood run. We can put a wood warehouse next door, and we can run that side, because this is going to be so annoying to run and try and get everything. why this is not working this time around because normally it works beautifully you could stack them all here and run them in Excuse me a moment. Probably have my spacing all wrong. That's probably where I'm coming a cropper. Because I need to run a conveyor belt. I can, okay. I think I can still extend this one. So. That's iron ore. Third level up is wood. So third level up is um, Concrete. Let's pull this building back a bit. Let's run the second layer. I would dearly love to know why you're trying to do that. Why does it keep wanting to go? There's a perfect gap right here. It could go right through. It's only one level up. Ah, fine stuff, you two. Luckily, I've already run the um, the output pipe for this flip. Stuff now, just gotta run this stuff down and run it into here. Um, what have I done wrong here? That's what wrong. Wood. Keep full. Later on, when the wood bunkers are empty, we can just load it straight into the uh, production center. Okay, this disaster looks alright so far.
respects to this setup. is a freaking biblical stupid rat's nest. my copper run. Oops, did I just delete something going inward? Yes I did, I deleted the copper. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let's run this one in closer. Hopefully that's reassembled like that. I had a system for this and I completely, completely forgot about it, so I have no idea if I'm even building this correctly. We'll have to check once everything is actually built that does it actually go where I want it to go. So right now we need to run electronics, which is this stuff. So we want this conveyor belt. I actually like writing stuff at ground level. we may need for something else later on, so I'm just going to leave that as is. For now, let's run the copper line. Let's delete this part of the copper line, because we don't actually need it. We want to run this way. Can we actually take from it here and run it? Now we're just going to run into things, so... So that's how it wants to run it. Alright, we don't have a choice in the matter then. Unfortunately. Yeah, I had a 
nice system for building this thing, so it was like, maybe it wasn't like perfectly neat, but it was way neater than this Gamostros. Alright, we need mechanical components, electronics for research, that was why I was running them out. So we could build lab equipment. Right. And I would add two more warehouses here to store these things so that later on when I built my labs, I could run the stuff to them. Okay. Figured out where I was screwing that one up. Luckily we can take that from there, so that's not going to be a great problem. to move this warehouse because this warehouse is now completely in the way because it's, it's just the vehicles can't get to it they may be able to get to it from this side but i don't think so so it actually has to sit here so if i move this one here totally screwed this up. I'm just going to admit it. I've totally screwed this up. <coughs> Sorry, for some reason I have a dry throat. <sighs> Luckily, running water to our irrigating our farms is going to be a flippant breeze. Yes, I'm working on it. Oh, we short workers all of a sudden. I'll be darned. Keep forgetting that's not where you go to access this thing, so we want to construct component one. Upgrade that to about five. Construction components two. So we actually have what we need. I don't know why. Where is that maintenance building? Oh, it's over here. Actually, that one doesn't exist, matter anymore, so just scrap it. We'll unpause this. <coughs> Excuse me. We need rubber. Yes, yes, we'll get to it. Just hold your horses. Screw that up, wouldn't I? Oh dear, 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 dear. Pure copper. This is not pure copper. This is impure copper, therefore it's useless. Of course I did. Why not? I mean, why not? I completely forgot you actually have to purify copper before you can use it. Which means I actually need to turn these warehouses around. Or do I? Probably build it here. 
How completely stupid of me. Okay, so we still haven't solved this problem. This can stay. But I actually need to move this. <coughs> Excuse me. There. Okay. Yeah, I totally screwed this one up. Totally, totally screwed this one up. So that's not what I need right now. To clean this conveyor belt, I need to scrap all these buildings. Okay. What we can do then temporarily is we can just copy these structures, put them a little bit aside. So we have some place to store it. We can always uh, what the hell? That's better. <coughs> I don't know why I suddenly have such a sore throat. Now we have some place to dump this stuff until we can get it refined. Yes, I know, low maintenance. Not enough workers, blah de blah de blah. Totally screwed that one up. Where do you need to go? <sighs> You'll get there now, they're busy dismantling the whole thing. Totally screwed the pooch on this one. Why are you even trying to empty these structures? Empty the ones in front of you first. So now we have trucks stuck because they can't get to where I want them to go. <coughs> Why are you still trying to get there? are moving. Let me guess, just all piling up here, they can't be going. 
Seven of these bloody pieces of junk don't know which way to go. Ugh. I will admit, that does piss me off with this game. If they can't reach it, go for the next nearest one. Why waste bloody time trying to get somewhere you can't go? Honestly. Why are you still stuck? Are you telling me these warehouses are full? I've cancelled! Luckily we've got plenty of immunity so we can repair them. gonna run to this trouble until we get the bloody um they still have fifty percent of operational capacity. What the heck is going on here? Really, they're at like 50% and they've broken down. If that was trucks in the real world, we'd be in so much freaking trouble. <coughs> there, see, symbol. this belt been cleaned yet? What is taking these pieces of chunk so bloody long? Just feed all this copper into a scrap refinery and be done with it. Grind it up. If you will. Well, it just goes to show I still haven't mastered this bloody game. Please tell me we're almost done here. Job back underway. Everything keeps breaking down. As unreliable as any vehicle I've ever encountered. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Everything was supposed to go out perfectly, and I made a mistake on how. 
copper is refined, so there was that my major leave oopsie. Out of the blue, every five seconds, everything just breaks down. I almost feel like North Korea. I was watching a video on their tractor tech, just out of curiosity, honestly. They're still using tractors that were built by the Russians blinking back during the Cold War era. The reason they're still using these particular type of tractors is when they tried to make their own, it didn't work. At all. Okay, that should do that. Let's just pause. I'm just going to cheat this one with water, honestly. Actually, if I leave this truck, the ability to take the water out, it'll probably come in more useful to me later on. It doesn't matter too much, but I wasn't quite sure where I was going, so. Luckily, they can pick up iron plates here if they need it. I can't even siphon off copper plates, bugger. No, I can't. Siphon them off. No, I can't. Okay. Somehow, somewhere, this all worked well at one point in time, but not anymore. show you how long it's been since I actually played this blinking game.
try this dance again. Yes, yes, we'll fix the maintenance problem shortly. Should now be pure copper. Once it gets to the pure copper bit, we'll be able to begin making proper maintenance parts. Because we kind of stalled on that one. Without electronics, we don't have anything. Didn't I pause the structure? Okay, thought I had. be able to get rid of the maintenance problem shortly. Let's just hope we can catch up with what's broke. That sure as hell doesn't seem to be. What are you trying to do? Still not catching up, it seems. Could build a third one. Start and end are not at the same height. What bull crap is this? That also something is annoying. Why can't I choose how to redirect my pipe systems? can't do it, nothing can. What's scary is we were using one and we were fine. And now we've got three and we're barely making enough. At least we're now automating our stuff. <sighs> so we can rely less and less on the cheats and more and more on the... Um... So we're still not generating enough juice.
totally, totally screwed that one over. Yeah, yeah, maintenance is fine. We have three of the bloody things building at the moment. There should be plenty. Now I just gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with all this excess copper. So I've got a lot of excess copper here. should now start to be able to break even roughly. Or not. I mean really, we were doing perfectly fine with one building and now we don't have enough with three freaking structures. there for the day and I hope everyone enjoyed this video as you can see I still haven't figured out how to freaking build anything because I didn't put the copper properly and I've got well I think spaghetti is the closest thing I can come to for conveyor belt setups but hopefully later on as I get play the game more and get used to it again we can get all going so this is Gareth from what you call it gaming have a great day bye